Hello, Malik Carrington here, Family Budget Fisherman. Thank you for tuning in to this another special episode on this channel. I uh, got something special here for you. It's not what's typical for me to do in terms of reviews and presentations on this channel, but it is a part of what we do. Rod storage, combo storage. You read it in the thumbnail and in the description below. We're going to be talking about what's in this box, and that is a special rod holder from a company called Lucino. Let's get started. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, as I mentioned, uh, in this box here, it should be the components to make a pretty good rod holder from a company called Plusino. Now you probably have watched them on YouTube, on other channels, um, or on other social media. You've seen this, uh, a review like this before. This is not the first time that Plusino has uh, offered to channel uh, creators an opportunity to review their product. But as I've looked at all of the other reviews, I'm probably going to give you one of the more extensive ones because this right here is going to be the initial review. And then I'm going to give you a review down the road to see how it holds up. One of the first things I do want to mention, and this is something that's just kind of a, a negative thing with me always. Companies, 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 make sure that when you're sending something, that you send it in a package that can endure the hardship of traveling from your office to my home. Uh, unfortunately, um, UPS almost didn't bring this to us. They actually, my wife took the box and they asked if, they, if we wanted to reject the delivery. Uh, my wife said no because of the circumstances by which I got this box. But UPS took a picture and said, I delivered it to you in this unfortunate situation, uh, uh, condition. So just to let you know, this is what it is right now. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to take my cuss, trusty Cutco. I'm going to open this up. And this is supposed to be a rod holder. Of course, by now you see it in the thumbnail, so you know what the situation is. All right. So one box opens to another box. Mm-hmm. Hope this is not a Russian doll situation. <laughs> okay. Opening this up here. And Lucino. Okay. And it is, once again, a rod holder. Got, there you go, rod rack is what they call it, instructions in there. So we're going to follow the instructions to the best of our ability and see what we come up with. It looks like the immediate contents are okay. There's some scratches on the, on the plastic, but it looks to be okay. I'm taking out these two components here currently rod holders right here this looks to be the bottom of the rod holder here on one end another one here another bottom uh, so two feet and like two handles okay so let's set that all aside there and see if we can put this together
All right, here we go. Uh, this is it right here. I can let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On both sides. Well, here we are. And we're going to put some rods on there. Let's see what we can do. Okay, this is good overall, but I already I'm having a little bit of trouble getting to nine. And here is the trouble that I'm having. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. You may be able to see it already. Let me turn these around. As you can see there, the reel have to be adjusted so that nine get there. You could fit nine, but you'd have to adjust to get to nine. Um, I also purposefully put this on all on one side just to see what the weight displacement is. I'm going to get nine there, but it's not going to be easy to get to nine. Okay. Now, uh, since I got this one, I'll put it on the back. But I want for you to see it's sturdy, very sturdy. Those are nine rods right there that are held on there. Notice some of them have the, the, sl the, the sleeve or sock, whichever you choose to call it, in them. And they're held nice and tight. And they're on one side. Before I put this rod in, I want to show you. You're on one side, so, so far, very sturdy. Very sturdy, I'm very impressed. So, I'm gonna put this one on as well, okay? So, as you can see here, and I'm gonna finish it up, those, those are the 10 rods right there. Now, here's the thing. Um, they're, Probably, it probably should be a little bit bigger to accommodate for the spacing for the rod, the, for the reels. But that said, with some careful uh, placement, you can get 18 rods there. I like what I see so far. Uh, let me put it out on the side here for you to see. I like what I see so far. I am impressed. I got nine rods over here, got one rod over there, and I want you to notice it's not leaning to one side. There's no weight displacement. The, the foot is wide enough to be able to carry it with no problem. So, so far it's a go. I'll show you right now what the retail price is for this. And uh, should you get it? Uh, for now, I say uh, if th this right now, once I put it in my garage, it will definitely save me some space. Um, is it worth the price? More than likely, it probably is. So, I mean, but it keeps the rods out of the way. I can actually put these rods up. If I got, I might need to, in my case, because I have so many rods, I may need to get three or four more of these and just set them up in an area. And I, I believe I can set them up in an area because most of my rods, I don't have reels on the rods. So I can set up 18 rods a piece, 
I can even take advantage of the space in between for some of them, maybe not get, say, four more, maybe just get two or three more. Uh, so it this this looks like it's doing the job. Uh, I am pro impressed, Plusino. So far, so good. And I would recommend that each and every one of you at least take a look at this for yourself. If you already own one, um, hit me up in the comments section and let me know if this is something that you have liked over the long term. What I will do is I'll give you my review after uh, some time has passed and I'm pulling them out and putting them in. I'm looking for rivets to give in. I'm looking for, uh, for it to bend, lose its shape, lose its strength. I'm looking for those kind of things. Now, I'm not going to be constantly moving it back and forth because this is not designed for that. But what I am looking for is how it wears and tears. So I will share that with you all. One of the things we do need to talk about is rod storage. You know, these are some very uh, cherished pieces of equipment. And I'm saying all the way down from my $15 combos to now my $1,700 combo. Um, they're cherished. And I cherish them all. I cherish my ugly sticks as well as I cherish this. I don't place a value uh, monetarily on how well I treat a rod. If I buy it, I'm going to treat it well. And I would recommend that to you as well. If you buy equipment, I don't care if you buy inexpensive equipment, treat it as if it were the expensive equipment. That way you can use it, maintain it much longer. You shouldn't place a value of maintenance based upon how much it costs you to acquire it. So I say all that to say, hey, this might be a good value. Might be a good value. I'm going to do uh, give it 30 days, move it back and forth, see what I can see, let you know about its wear and tear. We'll see what happens. Once again, thank you for taking a look at this. Again, this is not usual or typical, but I will say this to you. Over time, I'm going to start having partners uh, who are going to help finance the channel. And I'll let you know who they are. This is not a paid sponsor right now. They did send this to me for me to review, but it's not a paid sponsor. So I'll let you know when that happens. But at any rate, as I always say, never, ever, ever break your family's budget trying to buy any of this equipment. But by every other legal and ethical means, get out there and break your personal best. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and be blessed.